I first met Mitchell when he was 16 years of age when he joined the Roosters. Following his time at the Roosters, he made the transition to the Knights. And at the Knights, on the training field and on the playing field, he takes the team to another level. Here's Levi Hines and Pierce will score! Mitchell Pierce gallops onto a short pass. And they see the standards that he sets and he then imposes those standards on the rest of the team. It's good to like, uh, you know, build our combos especially with our edges and those are the little things that are going to make our season that much better but obviously Mitchell Pearce, you know, and then in first grade you need uh, your playmakers to take control and I think that's what he does. Oh no, I'm actually, I'm a highlights man of the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. Have you got a tip for him? I've got no idea, no, I don't know enough about it. As I said, I'm a highlights man, I like watching the highlights. Well, the Rams apparently shouldn't have even been in it. Yeah. Because like, they were playing New Orleans and there was a play right at the end. Yeah, I saw that, yeah, yeah, I saw that. They, they might not that see. was in the highlights, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> and there it is, the dynasty continues. Uh, Pre-season week 12, uh, we've just come off a camp, had a week at Wyong, which uh, we felt was productive. And I think like all teams, uh, I think the players, the playing group uh, are getting quite excited about uh, having a game to, to try and put in practice where they've been training. So uh, obviously we've had a few people with a, maybe a few positional changes and uh, there's no, um, no secrets in rugby league. I don't think there's any secrets that Caelan's going to have a run at 5'8 and Connor at fullback. So you know, uh, that's something we're excited about. I know the boys are keen to have a look at it. Jacob out on the field for the first time in a while. Good to see your brother running around. Yeah, it's um, it's good. Uh, he's been limping around there for the last couple of weeks, but uh, his legs slowly improving and see him running. I was a bit weird, but uh, he had a smile on his face, so I'm happy to. Yeah. He's good. It was a bit awkward. It was like walking again. Um, you know, uh, it was only a light session, just a slow jog, but um, you know, nevertheless, it was, it was just good to get him back out there. Uh, it's very good to see the fans come out to training week in, week out, very consistent and it's good to see the support and um, it's easy to feel the, the vibe and the excitement that the town has for the team this year. So, um, no, nah, it's, it's awesome and we're pretty grateful to have their support.